What's up, YouTube? It's Josh coming at you. We've got the Video Games Monthly for March 2023. Stay tuned. So welcome back, you guys. So like I said, we got the Video Games Monthly for March 2023. I had fully intended, like I said last month, to do this as an on-location unboxing. And time got away from me, and I knew if I didn't get it done, I was not going to get it done in the month of March. So anyhow, we're going to do it right here in the game room so we can get it out of the way. Hopefully next month we can get back to doing some on location stuff. Got a couple spots that I would like to do these in. So I think it would be pretty cool to uh, actually do that and share these locations with you guys. Be awesome. I had fun doing a few of them like that last year. Before we jump into the unboxing though, we have a beer. We have a shout out. Normally I don't do shout outs a lot on my video games monthly unboxings. I try to do them on CRT Saturday matinee. I'm pretty sure that this one may end up dropping on a Saturday. It might be a Tuesday. I'm not sure. They're usually when I try to drop them down. It depends what I, I lay down. But either way, we're doing a shout out on this video right here. And we're going to shout out this man back here on the screen behind us. A lot of you already know that this is back in the day gamer, Tony, my man. He is... Uh, an amazing YouTube channel. I, I get a kick out of him. I think a lot of you guys are probably subbed to him already. So, you know, maybe the shout out won't throw any more subs his way. But if you are not, he is getting so close to the 1000 sub mark. That's the reason that I wanted to do a shout out. That and the fact that this is Video Games Monthly. And Tony, he does a great Video Games Monthly unboxing every month. If you guys enjoy the Video Games Monthly unboxings and you just enjoy talking about old school games, back in the day gamer, this guy is a Nintendo master. You guys should go over and check his channel out if you have not already because I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. If you enjoy my content, you'll love his content because he's way better at this stuff than I am. Just a, a funny dude, great channel, just a laid back vibe all the way across the board with it. And uh, you guys, you guys will love him and help help get this guy up. If if even if you're already subbed to him, like throw a shout out to to some other folks that maybe haven't seen him or share some of his videos or something like that. Hit the link in the description. Go over check his channel out and help him get to that 1,000 mark because this guy is criminally criminally underrated as a YouTuber. The beer we have right now, I've had a couple already. Not of this kind. I've had a couple other ones, so I'm feeling pretty good right now. But this one right here was a really good one that I picked up from. Another local brewery. This is from Aldis Brewing Company. This is the Short Stories IPA. And man, I bought a uh, four-pack of these maybe two, three, no, it wasn't that long ago. Maybe about two months ago, but they didn't even make it. Like, it didn't even make it more than like two days. They were gone. It, it's just that good of an IPA. I've had it before, obviously. It smells delicious. It tastes delicious. I think they're planning on doing a series of these IPAs um, with different kinds of hops. They're going to make do, brew some different IPAs with different hops to kind of get a, a different feel for every month. So this one is a 6.7% ABV, and it is an excellent IPA from Aldous Brewing Company in Hanover, Pennsylvania. Mm. That is like perfection when it comes to IPAs for me. That's one of the best that I've had of recent memory, for sure, without a doubt. Let me finish dumping that one right there in the glass. So I can enjoy that one. Let's get into this video games monthly unboxing. So as you can see, Tony's doing his in the background. I'm going to do mine right here. Video games monthly. Let's get a little screenshot right here with my boy Floyd and the brewski. <laughs> Got to do our little thumbnail, right? So video games monthly, monthly subscription box. I've been doing them now for over two years. I don't know. I'm probably at like 26, 27, maybe 28 boxes or so. Um, I've been pretty happy with them. Obviously, if I wasn't happy with them, I wouldn't have stuck with them for this long. I do four systems for the selection, but I think I actually checked it out and I actually had made a mistake uh, a couple months ago when I was updating my library. I actually took um, two of the systems off. So I've, I've got it resolved now, but it probably won't be in this box. It'll probably be for the next box. Anyway, the four systems that I choose to get from Video Games Monthly are Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Sega Master System, and Wii U. Lately, I've been getting Nintendo and uh, Nintendo 64, and that's because I accidentally took the other two off, but they're back in place now, so maybe in the April box we'll have something a little bit different. But that's been good because I've enjoyed the hell out of uh, the Nintendo and Nintendo 64 boxes. Let's see what we have in this box. I pay for the five-game box. That is $52.99. That is with the shipping included in it. Um, but like I said, I've been pretty happy with them. 
Let's dig around in here and see if we feel any cards or anything else within the box. I know this month they've been given, um, I think, stickers away, which it feels like what we have right here. Been watching everybody else's unboxing. So we got a couple of stickers here. We got, uh, God, I don't even know what the hell this is. Looks like, uh, looks like Bayonetta. I think that's what it is. And this one is a uh, Link versus Cloud. That's kind of a cool little sticker. Pretty cool. All right, so since we had a little beer break because of the phone ringing, I do believe I was saying that I don't get one-ups in the boxes because they send me freaking awesome boxes every month that I enjoy and that are right at the values that they're paying that they're uh, that I'm paying for it. So I've been pretty damn happy with it without the one-ups. And once again, I do not feel a card in this box. So we've got our five-up box. It feels like three N64 and two original Nintendo, and they feel like they are regular licensed Nintendo games. So let's roll with the 64 first. We'll see what's in the in the box. We've got a copy of NBA Showtime on NBC. So a sports title, not super jacked about it, but it is in pretty damn good shape. The labeling on the front, it's got a top label as well. Um, and it's got a uh, clean, clean back label. Hasn't been played a whole lot. Um, not a sports guy so much and definitely not a basketball guy, but I'm glad to add it to the N64 collection. Nonetheless, we'll throw some footage up here to show you guys what the game um, is like. I'm glad to add it because I'm trying to go for a full set of N64 eventually and a mostly full set of Nintendo. So that's why I dig these boxes right here. The next game that we have is Top Gear Rally. All right, so I have a couple of um, other or at least one other Top Gear game already on the N64. Like I said, we'll put some footage up. Haven't played the Rally game, so I'm not really sure what to think of this one. I'm sure uh, I have Overdrive, I believe, is the one that I have, and that one's, that's a solid racing game. The N64 had a ton of really good racing games and a lot of mediocre racing games on them as well, but definitely a system that is known for racing if you enjoy those. All right, so let's dig down inside of here. Let's just go with what's on top pocket. This is the uh, first Nintendo game out of the bunch, and we got Rampart. Now, this is pretty cool. Let's see. Um, Jalico game, however the hell you pronounce that. In really good shape, front, back, all the way around. Really clean, clean copy. I know this game right here, this is one where you kind of build your uh, your castles, your forts up, and then there's like ships that are like attacking your castle and you gotta defend it by destroying the, the ships. It's been a long time since I've played it, but really cool, really cool ad for the Nintendo collection right there. In great shape too. All right, the next one is a Nintendo game as well. And we have, <laughs> we have Sesame Street countdown so this should be the final sesame street game that i need for the nintendo library i think there's five four or five of these so actually there's this is the fifth one so definitely the last one that i needed for it um what can you say it's sesame street right it's gonna have something to do with uh letters and numbers but most likely numbers since it's called sesame street countdown <laughs> i think that one's actually the one that's the that's the um more valuable of the five of them on the system. Not that any of them are super valuable. But. And the final game is an N64 game, and that is all she wrote in there for, for Floyd. And we got Quake. Nice. Now this, this is a sweet, sweet grab for me, to be honest with you, because this was actually a wish list game. I know um, sometimes when I throw stuff on a wish list, it's not necessarily, I might, I might not be thinking of it when I do the unboxing, but I know for a fact that this one was a wish list game for sure, because I used to love the crap out of this game along with Quake 2 and GoldenEye and a few of the other games, because back in the day when I had my original Nintendo 64 system, my uh, niece and nephew, um, at the time who were full grown peoples now, they, uh, they used to come over and we would play these death matches in these games and I loved it. And I already had Quake 2. And I definitely uh, wanted to get this one again to add it back to the collection. So that that's a super awesome grab right there. I love that right there. Maybe I can get my uh, my son or my daughter to jump in and do a little death match with me on this one now. So we got three N64 games. We got a wish list game, which is awesome. Basketball, racing. And we got ourselves a couple of more NES titles to add to the collection. I guess I'm probably, I got to be up around 450 licensed titles now. So that's awesome. At some point, we're going to go through the collection, and I'll show you guys off what I have. 
so far, but really good month for Video Games Monthly. I'll throw the uh, values up as we do this, and at the end here, I'll throw up a conglomeration of what I paid and what each game was worth, and so we'll see how we ended up with it, but pretty solid all in all. You guys, if you haven't, please, even if you have, just share it. Go over and show Tony, back in the day gamer, some love, because this man is almost to a 1,000 subs, and man, he should have a couple of 1,000 subs by now, so... Until next time, you guys, you all take care of yourself out there. Cheers.